call the meeting to order with uh, 504. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody here and go around the room and introduce ourselves if we could start with our argument. Uh, James Winston, member. Judy Kimberly, member. Leticia Ward, member. City Councilor Mary Alba, Vice Chair. Jean Page, Chair. Uh, Marie Westbrook, ADA coordinator for the city of Northampton. Do you want to introduce yourself? I'm Bud Cornwell, member. Chris Palavis, member. Uh, Douglas Rennick Scribe. I'm here on my tax write off program. So uh, I'll be working with you uh, doing notes. Appreciate very much the work and you this is highly recommended. And recognize Chris. You speak? I just want to say, uh, I've had, it's been a great pleasure for me working uh, with Doug on the self evaluation work, and I'm just thrilled that he's joining us. It's also somebody's birthday today. Oh, yeah, I don't know. No, 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 mine was last week. Last week, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right. Do we have to do a party for you? Yes. He threw a party for himself. <laughs> so we could look at the, the we, have, we have a chance to look at the minutes. I'm sorry I didn't get them out to everyone until just now. I just finished my <laughs> Didn't we introduce ourselves last week? It says introductions. No. I thought we went around the room. We did. Ourselves. We did. I misunderstood what that was. I thought that was introducing a guest or a. Oh. Okay. So um, I can. So I, I, I moved that. to put our things and that on as. Sure. I mean, we will amend the minutes. Exactly. Just a minute. So do we usually say. Is there anything written after introductions or just usually members introduce themselves? Oh, okay. Just and if anybody's absent, yeah, that's goes on. We're missing uh, Anne. Or excuse me. Anne. We're missing Hannah. That's right. And we missed her last week, so we would put on there too who's absent or, or who's excused. Mm -hmm. Okay, I wasn't sure. Who was that's how you record her. She was not here to excuse. Yes. yes. She was excused. Okay. Okay. I just, I just didn't know, so I, I can add that. Absent. Yes. Hannah, Hannah was excused. Last Hannah wasn't excused. Hannah was absent. No. Oh, so we, we need to add absent as a category? Yes. Okay. Yes, we did. You told somebody. You, you were, told me. That's right. You were excused. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, so, uh, any, any more uh, amendments to the uh, minutes? <gasps> Motion to accept them. Second it. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those at the same time. If, if we find sometime in the future that the minutes need to be uh, amended, we can do that at any time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. So minutes are made and approved. Now we'll turn it over to Chris. Tell us about the ADA self evaluation and transition plan. Well, I don't know that we have anything uh, new at this point. I think uh, the suggestion was I, I should probably uh, ask to schedule some time individually with the mayor to go over it in detail because there may be some uh, points of law there that we have to discuss as the basis specific recommendations so that's what I will remember to do. Yeah, um, I mean he is looking at it and he is aware of that um, He's next, busy man right now. Next steps, yeah, that, and so I think that 
he would like to go through it. With Chris, and then, and then he can make his um, suggestions if he has suggestions he wants to do. And then he could be the commission. So hold. we will hold. I was just going to say that. Yes. Okay. We'll have a more far reaching. <laughs> Will you be able to come up with him about this issue? Yes. Well, then please invite him to come, come, come visit with us on his mother's determination. We'll be delighted to have That would be good. Yeah, so it would, um, if, if it seems timely for the next meeting, if it doesn't, then the following? Sounds like a will. Okay. So are we supposed to have yet to today? Plus the fact is, right now, if we say <clears throat> for the next meeting, I'm not positive. Right now the mayor is going through the budget. We're interviewing, going through the process with department heads. We start January 31st with a um, subcommittee right now, with school committee and city council. We're going to keep moving on, so we'll so have to understand when the mayor can make it. But it's also time to meet with him about this since some things might need to be budgeted. <laughs> That's true. Well, we'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other discussion about this agenda item we need to go through? Is there any other discussion about this particular agenda item? Yeah. So we'll move on to the next item. Variance from uh, Hampshire County Jail and House of Corrections. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, again, the... Uh, I saw you talking to the sheriffs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the sheriff picked me one of our uh, holiday uh, gatherings. The uh, variance request was for, from the architect, it was a very limited variance request, and it, it was um, for a variance on the requirement for, um, for an accessible uh, rolling shower, and the concern was sight lines, there are specific requirements for prisons that are rape prevention provisions. So uh, the question was whether that would require a complete variance or whether an alternative design was in order. The important thing was that I had not seen anything in the variance request that indicated that they were communicating directly with the group within the Division of Capital Asset Management and Maintenance, which has the specific expertise on, on design and ADA compliance. Um, the information I have is that communication has been open, and that uh, Emmanuel uh, Andrade, who's the uh, who's the uh, lead person now in that process, it is also anticipated will be working more extensively with the jail uh, to develop a broader plan. There's anticipation that um, there should be a significant amount of work done. In the, uh, in the penal system in the Commonwealth and uh, here at the Hampshire County Jail and House of Corrections will be the first of the county jails and House of Corrections. It, it was just, we had suggested over a year ago that uh, uh, Patrick was the guy to work with. He's very forthcoming. He wants to get um, you know, a broad analysis of, of what's needed. So it appears that that's moving forward on positive terms. Um, but it's going to have to be monitored because at the same time, um, it seems that DCAM may well be cutting its investment of resources in access assessment. So it's going to be played at that level. Um, if it moves forward, the process should move forward here pretty visibly and we will uh, we'll be informed about that. So I will keep you posted. Chris, question. I saw in the paper something to the effect at the jail. That right now they're renovating. What are they renovating? They are renovating two um, dormitories, which are the pre release dormitories. The total amount on that is, I believe, 
I may have this number wrong, but if my recollection is correct, is six million. Mm -hmm. um, I'll work on two of the pre-release. There are about five different levels within the jail, which have to do with um, <coughs> um, what you know, uh, pre-trial um, holding. There are the, the uh, units for where the dangers of violence are, are increased. And then it goes on through, um, I think, two stages of pre-release. And it's a, at a pre-release level. Yeah, there are extensive needs in the jail. Now, with this renovation, I, I have concerns. It didn't say anything in the paper about any kind of renovation with the ADA. With any kind of disability restorations being done here. The, and with that type of money, it's, it's has anybody on to that or what? That's what we responded to. There is a specific allocation out of DCAM to work on the project, which is the, the renovation the of the two. They will be fully compliant in the work that's done. There was this one limited variance request which had to do with the, the access standard on shower um, in relationship to some of the, the rape prevention requirements. So that was what I wanted to be sure that they were actually involving the people at DCAM who have the, the highest level of expertise in ADA. As I discussed that with the folks at, at, at DCAM, I was told that also there is an intention to do more extensive planning mm -hmm. um, at the uh, the county jails, and the first will be here at Hampshire County. So, uh, if this process moves forward, we will be aware of it, um, and uh, we'll have an opportunity to have a sense of whether it's really being done in a thorough way. Frankly, my concern is that the state we've documented some hundreds of millions of dollars of state arrears on ADA obligations, and I, I believe that the state has absolutely no commitment to meeting its obligations. It will, for any specific project, it will meet the code requirements, but it will not necessarily invest in um, doing the kind of retrofit priorities. For example, in, in the general within the jail, uh, the, uh, there is no accessible uh, cell. Right. Right. So, in, in there are circumstances in which a prisoner has had to be carried, and that's unacceptable. There are others in the Commonwealth where, um, I think it's at Framingham, the, uh, the only uh, women's prison in the state, uh, where um, a prisoner would have to be carried upstairs to go to the health services. All of these are, are violations of the, of the law. We've got a lot of accumulated with the state, and if they move forward looking at, at corrections, they will find them. So it, it's going to be an ongoing story. But we raised it in reference to this. That's what that the was people that. who should be involved, um, the indication is, will be involved. The most knowledgeable people will be involved. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you to is DCAM Department of the Capital Asset, Asset, Asset Management? Management and Maintenance. And Maintenance. And I have to say it was with some amusement when they added the second M, so we pronounce it as DCAM. So there's a disability person in the in the in there? The in the not the not building. The at DQ? Yeah. Yes. Well, because on the on the news there there's this one student. Uh, she thought she saw someone at the school, but then but then they they found like uh again again to towards her because she she told. Did you guys see on the news where she? She saw, she saw a killer, but then the girl, the, the spirit girl got the arrested for it. It was only, it was way, way back when. Yeah, so it's a little bit more discussion. Yes, we can move to the next item. Maybe you can tell us about the Human Rights Commissioner. He's only going to come today.
they weren't able to come. Um, I meant to include the superintendent. Um, neither of these groups could send someone this evening. Um, but the superintendent is uh, amenable to showing the disability film that we discussed. Um, and he remembers showing it before. Um, the Human Rights Commission would like to come and they would like to come in February if that's good for us. That's good for us. The superintendent did come when we first showed him. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, so I can um, check back with him about, because apparently he has a regular meeting at this time, so that wouldn't work for him. Are we going to have a holiday party in, in, in February? Well, we're post-holidays now. <laughs> The holidays, we're, we're well into the new year. But yeah. I, I would like to say about that showing of the film, but it's not just that we want to have it shown, but I think we want to, to talk about who we should have, that we want to see this um, integrated into their, um, their social studies curriculum, and we want to see it integrated into their um, acknowledgement of um, you know, Disability Awareness Month, which I think is now statutorily identified in the Commonwealth, and that it be at a similar level to the, uh, the way in which they, they raise um, awareness around other social justice issues within the, within the school system. One of the things we don't want to have happen is to have it just sent to special education. Right. This is not a special education issue. This is about understanding civil rights in relation to disability in the rainbow of um, all civil rights law. I'm, 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 I'm sort of confused here. Well, we have two issues. We have the invitation of so much to see us in the film. Is, what, what, are we going to see this film or, or put, put it together for you? We talked about sure. that this group and the Human Rights Commission could see the film as well, but um, that was a question that came up. He, you know, he's, the superintendent wanted to know um, exactly what we were asking. So I think that's going to be part of the discussion we have with him. So okay. then we could eventually book and open it up again and show the film. Yes. And what the purpose is. And as a commission, where we want that film to start moving to. Yes. Yeah. What is the name of the film? It's Lives Worth Living. Um, actually, there are, there are two names. Lives Worth Living is the full-length film, and The Great Fight for Disability Rights is the uh, shorter, half-hour version of the film, which is also linked to curriculum materials for use in, in uh, junior high. If I can remember, Chris, when we had a chum here, and Senator Rosenberg came, remember that? Yes, yes he was here. And remember I told you he asked if somehow we could get that video or that taping for him at the State House, and it never happened. But oh, yeah. Once I know we are going to go ahead and show it again, I'm going to invite um, State Rep. Lindsay Sabadosa, we're talking about civil rights. She's good and really good at this type of stuff, and Joe, and whoever. We might Elizabeth Warren. Sure. She might be here, you're right. She's, she's we, everywhere now. Can, can you invite her? Who? Elizabeth Warren. She's, I don't know. <laughs> Probably a little too busy. We'll let her read it. Yeah, Mary, you'll do that, right? Very good. <laughs> I do. No, because she, she does like human rights. She does like that kind of stuff too, though. Ah, uh, but she's going to be so busy. She won't let her do. She's going to be so busy. If she wants to come, we're delighted to have her. That's yep. right. We'll have them all. That's correct. Right. <laughs> yeah, we have Baltimore too. Is there any more uh, discussion about this item on the agenda? No. 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 no more discussion about this item on the agenda? No. 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 
Okay. Next item on the agenda is is weather. Oh yeah, we weather. Had, we have weather coming this weekend. We haven't had any weather yet. Well, we talked about it last time. I don't yes. know why I put it on there again, but. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, well, we had a discussion. Yeah, yeah. You two, Gene and uh, Council Lavarge, you were going to make a decision and then communicate it to the group if there was an issue about whether we have anything. That's, that's what we were saying. That's what we had. Yeah, have it. Yeah. But we don't know what the deficit is. Yeah, verbatim. Yes. But we don't know what the purpose is. I mean, I don't want to have any snow, so we don't have any control over that's right, we do not have I wish we did, but no. I think we have to make reference to a higher power. Oh, yes. And when's our next meeting in February? February 15th. Oh, right. No, no, we, no, February 13th. Well, February 13th. Is, yeah, I think you mean the 19th, right? 19th? Yeah, it's the first Tuesday is the 19th. That's right. That's when my mom had her meeting as Barbara. Yeah. February 19th. Three. Yes. Three days before Valentine's. Three days before Three days before Washington's birthday. Here we go. <laughs> I, knew, I knew something important. All right, now, I think that that, 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 that that's the weather taken care of. Do we have any new business we'd like to do that we're going to take? No new business? No. Okay. We're, we're, we're moving right along here. Okay. Any further discussions? Shall we entertain a motion for a motion to adjourn? To adjourn, Mr. Chairman. The chair might notice it, but they're taking the statue down from Chapel Hill as I'm dressed to them. Uh, 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 is there a second? Second. Don't forget, everybody, the Women's March this weekend. Oh, yes, I'm going to that. Oh, yes. I do. And oh. I think we need to get, you want, I think we need to do, we need Good. to open uh, the, we need to open the government uh, back up. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Yes. I think it's a wonderful idea. Yes. Yes. Uh, meetings adjourned.